still got some singing to do. Amen. We'll ask Brother Michael, amen, to up this morning's tithes and offerings. Amen. You give what God lays on your heart. He will bless you. Whatever you give, it's a nickel, dime, a penny, a quarter, or just a dollar. He'll bless it. I'm going to tell you, He'll multiply it. Amen. And He'll wake you up in the morning. That'd be a blessing. Amen. He'll wake your husband up in the morning or your wife up. That's a blessing. A lot of people say, well, I ain't got a check. And can I tell you something? God don't work like that. Them preachers will lie to you and tell you you give $1,000 and you'll get a $50,000 check in three days in the mail. It don't happen. They got they got people in the crowd that's, that's, uh, that acts like they have got received that money. God's fixing to run and reveal that. Amen. He's fixing to go into them houses and he's fixing to shake them. Did you know that's what they were doing when Jesus went into the temple? And he didn't go in there because they were set. He went in there because they were taking money from the pre the Christians. They were taking money from the poor. And he went in there and took it back. He turned the tables over. Mm -hmm. Said, you've made my house a den of thieves. You know what he was talking about? He's talking about the way they're doing today. They've made his house a den of thieves. They're stealing from people. They're stealing the widow's check from her. And then they'll talk about her because she draws a check. They're taking people's Social Security check from them and then they'll talk about them because they're drawing a Social Security check. They'll take their grocery money away from them because then they'll talk about them because some of them are drawing food stamps. Amen. That ain't the way God does. If you read the Bible, amen, they had it back in the Bible. That's why he said bring, the, bring your tithes and offerings to the storehouse. See, back then they brought their produce. And the produce was distributed among the widows, the needy, and the poor. That was like food stamps back then. Hey, Amen. It was like a uh, like what we got, like a Habitat for Humanity. Uh, what's that other place we got? Uh, the Community Action. They had stuff like that in the Bible because, see, they had to help the needy, the poor, and the widows. Amen. Amen. Jesus told the disciples, he said, render what Caesar Caesar and give what God is God and God will do the right. You know, he told Peter, he said, go down and the first fish you catch, you take the money out of his mouth and pay the taxes. And what's left, you bring it to the disciples and you lay it down at their feet and they'll distribute among the needy, the widow, and the poor. Amen. That's what Jesus said. Jesus didn't want to, he, he fed 5,000 people. He didn't want to see them go hungry. <coughs> Amen. He was like a food bank. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He was just like a food bank. Amen. He fed them. He took five little fishes and two loaves of bread and fed 5,000 people.